Hello guys, as you can see we have just started making Premiere Pro tutorials, this is a beginner series of tutorials, if you haven't watched my previous tutorial on basic editing in Premiere Pro, then check out the first link in the description. In this tutorial we are going to see how to create this motion transition, you can see the preview playing in the background. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel. As we are getting close to 100k, let's make this quick and get to the milestone as soon as possible. Now let's directly jump into After Effects and see how to create this transition. Here you can see, I have already imported this two media files, and I have created sequence by name motion transition. And have added media files to the timeline. Now here we will see, how to create motion transition on own instead of using any available transition. We will create transition for this media files, now go to project tab, let's create new item, that's our adjustment layer. Now let's add this adjustment layer to the timeline, here we will trim this adjustment layer, select the razor tool, or you can hit C key on your keyboard. Now trim the layer, remove the extra part of the layer. Now on this adjustment layer, we will add all the effects and preset. Go to effects panel, search for replicate. You can drag the effect on adjustment layer, or double click on it to apply. Now go to effects control, we will make required changes here, for replicate, set count to, 3. Now in effects, search for mirror, add it to the adjustment layer. Now here we need to adjust the mirror reflection center, change X position value as shown. Change it till we get mirrored output. Here you can see, we have mirror layer, now we need to do the same for this area, now again add mirror, now this time, we will change reflection angle to, 180 degree. Now adjust the reflection center value till we have mirror output. Perfect. Here you can see we have the mirror effect on both the side for this layer. Now again add the adjustment layer to the timeline. Here I will make two cuts for this adjustment layer, one at center and other at end. Remove the outside part. Now here we have two adjustment layers, first layer we will use for first video animation and the second one for second video, now for first adjustment layer, in effects. Search for transform, add it to the adjustment layer. Now near about at 15 frames, create keyframe for position. Now go at end of the first adjustment layer. Now change position value for transform as shown. Make sure uniform scale is selected. Change scale to, 300. Now adjust the position for the media file, make sure it fits the screen. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now select the keyframes. Change keyframe interpolation to ease in. Here we need to adjust the graph. Now again change keyframe to, ease out. Now you need to adjust the graph as shown. Perfect. Now we will do the same for other adjustment layer, add the transform effect. For transform, Set scale to, 300. Now move near about 20 frames forward, create keyframe for position. Now at start of this adjustment layer, change position value to, minus 960. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select created keyframes, Change keyframes to, easy in, and ease out.
Now adjust the graph as shown. You can see the complete preview. Perfect. Now we will add a blur effect for this transition. To do that, let's again add the adjustment layer, let's trim the extra part. Now for this adjustment layer. From effects, search for directional blur. Add it to the adjustment layer, now we will animate the blur effect, at center of this adjustment layer. And between the media files, we will create keyframe for blur length. First set blur length to, 100. Now create a keyframe. Now come 15 to 10 frames backward. Change blur length to, 0. Or you can just reset the parameter, do the same for other side. Go 20 frames forward, and reset the parameter. Select keyframes, change keyframes to ease in and ease out. Now you need to adjust the graph exactly as shown. You can see the preview, here we need to set the direction of the blur, set direction to, 90 degrees. Now here you can see the preview, we have the black edge surrounding the frame, to remove that we need to add the crop effect, in effects, search for crop. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now for crop, select the zoom. Here you can see the black edge are gone. Now let's add more blur effect to this transition. Now at center of this transition, change right to, 90%. Create keyframe for right. Now come 15 to 10 frames backward. Change right to, 0. Now go at 20 frames forward from the center, now reset the parameter. Here you can see this effect, we need to remove it, to do that, select keyframes, change keyframes to, ease in, and ease out. Now adjust the graph exactly as shown. You can see the preview. Here our right side transition is created. Now let's see how to create the same transition in opposite direction. Here I will just select all the layers and create its copy. Here we will change the transition direction. Let's disable the above adjustment layer for some time. Now we will make changes to the below adjustment layer. Here first we will remove this previously added position keyframes, delete the previous added keyframes. Now do the same for other adjustment layer. Here we will add the new position keyframes, now for the first adjustment layer. Come 10 to 15 frames backward from center, create keyframe for position, now at end of the adjustment layer. Change the position value to, minus 960. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes. Change keyframes to, ease in, and ease out. Now adjust the graph as shown. Perfect. We will do the same for second adjustment layer, 
at near about 15 frames, create keyframe for position, set the position value to default, 960. Now at start of this adjustment layer, change position value to 2880. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes, change keyframes to ease in and ease out. Now adjust the graph as shown. Perfect. Here you can see the complete preview of both the transitions. Now let's enable the above adjustment layer. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our left and right transition is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.